I follow the science, I believe in the studies, and I believe that if the product is authentic, it's going to pass the test. So I'm not surprised. It came back with a whopping 3.56 parts per million and a dosage of 0.71. Try to find the best brands and the best categories that have no BS behind them. And I'm willing to pay to test any of the bottles. If they're actually producing hydrogen that's beneficial and it's cheaper, we support that. We want to support the best quality at the best price. And that's what we do at the small score, 0.61 parts per million, and the dose was 0.29 milligrams. That's the lowest amount of the bottles we tested. I became so frustrated, all the misinformation out there, and some of the Google results, which you won't believe, that I decided that they're being transparent about what they're doing, and then we recommend them to you. So here are the results. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're finally going to reveal the hydrogen water bottle test. I've been trying to get to this video, have not had a chance. We've been so busy at the swell score, but I have got the results back. We bought a bunch of bottles off of Amazon, cheaper hydrogen water bottles. And I know everyone's asking this question is, do they actually produce hydrogen? And we're gonna reveal the results to you today because we tested one, two, three, four, five, six hydrogen water bottles. The pitcher we didn't test. This is just the pitcher I drink from the hydrogen water pitcher in the morning because it produces more water. And then I take the bottle with me on the go. I also use hydrogen uh, caps like from H2 Elite Quicksilver Scientific is my favorite brand for the tablets, which is a kind of a magnesium based hydrogen. I do love hydrogen. I'm not the hydrogen guy. There's a lot of other experts out there, but I think it's a really good tool to add to your arsenal for holistic health. And so I recommend it if you can find the right bottles in the right company. If you don't know, my name is Gary B, not the other Gary B. We did not set out to become YouTubers, did not set out to review products, but I became so frustrated, all the misinformation out there, that I decided to start making more videos. We have other doctors that we've partnered with that are also making content for this channel. Our approach is to find basically the truth in wellness and get rid of the BS, because there is a lot of BS, especially with hydrogen water bottles. I am on TikTok and I see all the crap ads for hydrogen water bottles. You're most likely gonna see other companies comment in the comment section of this video promoting their hydrogen water bottles. And I'm willing to pay to test any of the bottles. If they're actually producing hydrogen that's beneficial and it's cheaper, we support that. We want to support the best quality at the best price. And that's what we do at the Swell Score. Find the best brands and the best products. And we try to bring them to you at the best possible prices because I'm tired of the BS, I'm tired of all the charlatans, and they're all coming out of the woodwork for hydrogen. And I'm sure that's why you found this video. You're searching for hydrogen water and whether it has any benefits. So I've made a couple of other videos. I've interviewed a couple of experts. You can go watch those to see. I do believe there's a lot of benefits. There is a lot of overwhelming amount of research and studies on the benefits of hydrogen water. And there are many from helping with cardiovascular health, from helping with antioxidant help, helping with your gut health, helping with lowering inflammation, helping with kidney function. It's just sort of a water 2.0. But there is some misinformation out there as well, and I'd be very careful about when you Google. I'm actually trying this video to go through some of the Google results, which you won't believe. I do recommend you use either distilled water or filtered water in any of these bottles because they are collecting, they're all on the same principles. They are electrolyzing the water. And these two anodes are, and a cathode and anode, are electrolyzing the water and if it's highly mineral content water they're going to gunk up the anodes on the machine and they're going to stop working and this was the case if you know anybody who has a kangen water machine if you ask them to look at their warranty it's very clear in the warranty that if you don't clean the machine every two weeks you're going to void the warranty which basically means you're going to spend your whole life cleaning the hydrogen machine to produce hydrogen or you're not producing any hydrogen at all we did find one company that actually has fixed that solution to sort of reverse the polarity so that there's less gunk collecting on the cathodes and anodes and so i think there, there are better machines out there but we'll get to that in another video let's first get to this and talk about the results because you are going to be really surprised so we took a number of bottles one from echo water which is the original echo go plus which we had already tested we took a, a brand called a high what is it hydren we took another brand bottle called an ion bottle we took another brand called Hyorify. I hope I'm saying that right. And another just no name brand called Hydrogen Water with the fancy box, actually. I think they may win the award for the fanciest box, but it's a no name brand. Got a little styrofoam, a little silver bottle inside. And 
the criticism about these bottles, if there is one, is that they're all manufactured in China and they're all made by the same company. And if you just go to China, you can get it really cheap. And if you look on Alibaba, you can get it cheap. That may or may not be true. I actually saw another video that I debunked, which is they're not all made by the same manufacturer. And in fact, a lot of those cheaper bottles in China, they're knocking off the successful brand bottles and they're not producing any hydrogen. So again, this is why we wanted to test. I follow the science, I believe in the studies, and I believe that if the product is authentic, it's gonna pass the test. Okay, so let's get right into it. I love this brand too, by the way, it's called VH Life. I made another video. This is a two part system. It has one part, you can actually breathe hydrogen. You put some distilled water in here, and then you can hook up a nasal cannula and breathe the hydrogen into your nose. So I like doing that for an hour or so a day. If I can, it's great for lung health. It actually has a lot of studies on COVID and helping, I guess I can't say COVID, but Google's gonna ding me, but it's good for lung recovery. It's just another way to get hydrogen into your system. So it doesn't matter whether it's coming from your gut or your lungs, but if you're specifically looking for improving lung health, I would recommend trying one of the devices that you can actually breathe hydrogen. This you can do both. You make a pitcher on one side, you have to switch it and you can make a nasal cannula breathing apparatus on the other side. The pitcher produces about one part per million, so it's not a super high level, but because I can make up to 1200 cc, it can give me more dose of hydrogen, even though it's a lower concentration. All right, let's get right into it. This video is so hot, it's got me standing up today. So I'm standing and giving you the results. So here's the report from H2 Analytics. I hope it's okay that I share this. So I'm gonna reshare some of it so I don't get sued. But this is a company that has been around for quite a few years. They use gas chromatography to measure the hydrogen content in the water. They also have a liquid drops that you can actually buy to test hydrogen. And it's a less accurate way, but a, a sort of a general way to test hydrogen. I've never used the drops, but I'm thinking of getting them. If I'm gonna test a lot more water bottles, it's kind of expensive to keep testing them in the laboratory. But just wanna point out a couple of things that he notes here, which is they're all based on a proton exchange membrane, which I was telling you about. And you need to wet it with some uh, distilled water to reactivate the membrane and he ran them all through two cycles before he tested it He let his uh, machine warm up for two hours. He pointed out that one of the bottles which is called the hydrogen bottle actually requires not to use distilled or RO water because it needs the the mineral content to be higher to produce hydrogen which is kind of odd. There are some bottles and some hydrogen bottles that require higher TDS total dissolved solids but that already makes me suspect because it should be able to work and you'd want it on distilled water. I prefer to put distilled water in and I prefer to add the minerals back into the water. A lot of people don't like distilled water because they consider it dead water, which I don't agree. It's the most purest form of water and I want the hydrogen that I'm taking to be free of all those other minerals in it. And I want also to add my own minerals to it when I'm done. And I find that when I'm taking supplements or minerals or when I'm fasting with hydrogen water, I get a much better result. But anyhow, it's just, caveat with this bottle that they did use per the manufacturer's recommendation high mineral content water which is was adjusted for a tds of 250 and then they also tested for chlorine and all of these bottles okay so here are the results coming in from all of the bottles i'm going to go from lowest to the highest the lowest amount of hydrogen produced in the bottle this is for one cycle was the hydrogen bottle which is and i'll put the prices up here in terms of how much they cost but basically it was this bottle. This is the one I see most often, or the, this style is the most often I see on TikTok. And as you see the results, it produced 0.61 parts per million. And they measured dose based on the size of the water. So as I was talking about earlier with the pitcher, it's a larger amount of water, so you get a higher dose. Smaller bottles, even though they may produce more hydrogen, the, the overall dose might be less because it's less water and less hydrogen. So this looks like it's actually like a, 14 ounce bottle. It looks a little bit bigger than the other ones, maybe even 16 ounce. I don't know. It doesn't say anything. So here's the instruction. It doesn't really tell me how much is in here, but that's the results that the lab got, which was 0.61 parts per million, and the dose was 0.29 milligrams. That's the lowest amount of the bottles we tested. Okay, here's the hydrogen bottle, at least what I could find, which is the closest I could find on Amazon. I think the company's probably already gone out of business or on their way to Mexico. This is the same bottle and it's for $24 or $25 on Amazon. I've seen the same bottle on TikTok all day and I would never recommend buying any health products on TikTok, nor do I recommend buying any products on Amazon that are health related supplements. There's tons of counterfeiters, misinformation. I just don't buy my health stuff on Amazon. 
The next level one came in from the ion bottle, which is this bottle right here. And it produced a 0.98 parts per million. It's not terrible, but it's certainly not as much as some of these other bottles. Here it is with the fancy light. Probably seen these all over the Instagram and all over the TikTok. Um, I don't know why it's on. I didn't want me to turn it on. By the way, these are all, these are glass. Uh, at least it seems like it's glass. A lot of people prefer to have glass. But I've been told that in order to produce enough hydrogen water, there's so much pressure, the glass will not withstand the pressure. So you can produce a lower amount if you prefer to have a glass bottle. Or if you want more hydrogen, you're probably going to need a plastic vessel like this one from Echo Go, which is a plastic vessel. This is the Pro Model Hydrogen Water Bottle from Ion. It's got all the features, the health benefits. Let's see if it makes any statements about how much hydrogen it produces. It's 14 ounces. By the way, all of these bottles will need to be descaled at some point. Even when you get it, you should put a little white vinegar into with distilled water to clean the vessel. It doesn't really make a claim about how much hydrogen this water is producing. We'll have to check the website and see. But here is the results for the Ion bottle, which is this bottle right here. The results are in, and it produced 0.98 milligrams per liter of hydrogen or 0.98 parts per million. The dose because of the size was 0.42 milligrams. So that's the ion bottle. So we spoke about the pro hydrogen bottle. So normally $190 It's now on sale for $100 or $99 and 99 cents. It says it produces up to three parts per million of hydrogen, but that's not what we saw in our test at all. Okay, believe it or not, up next, the unbranded, totally nameless, faceless, can't find us anywhere in case you need to sue us. Hydrogen bottle. Let's see if it says anything back here. Doesn't say anything. <laughs> the company definitely wants to run for cover as soon as they can, but they came in at number three and this bottle produced two milligrams per liter or two parts per million of hydrogen at a dose of 0.4 milligrams on just one cycle. I don't even know how, if I could ever find this bottle again because there's no brand. And I just picked randomly the bottles from Amazon. But there you have it. The no name hydrogen water bottle. Oh, and I'm going to go back and look and see how much I paid for it. So you can have that too. The next bottle on the list that's coming in hot is Purify. I guess that's a U, not an O. Welcome to the Purify hydrogen water bottle. It's actually a nice box as well. Open this up. Hey now, there's the charging cable, there's the material, there's the bottle. This is a plastic container, by the way. So all you glass lovers are not gonna like this one. This has an interesting way that it kind of screws onto the base. As you can see, it has a little bit of distilled water in there to keep the membrane wet. So this is how it came back from the lab, so they must have put it back. You just have to push this down. Oh no, you have to remove this, that's why. Okay, we'll remove that later. But basically, this is the Purify water bottle. Purify. Okay, here's what, how they came back in with. They came back with 2.4 milligrams per liter, or parts per million. That's pretty good, 2.46 parts per million. The dosage was 0.62 milligrams, and no chlorine detected. I should have pointed out that this original bottle from Hydrin that we told you about actually notice they did detect chlorine in this bottle so even though the other one's a no-name brand I, I consider this kind of a no-name brand but this bottle was tested after it ran for a cycle and it was producing chlorine so i would not want to drink this and then with the other bottles there was no chlorine detected the orify came back at 2.46 milligram parts per million its dosage was 0.62 that's actually not bad so the purify bottle is 189 dollars it's normally 249 dollars comes in four different colors, doesn't make any claims about the amount of hydrogen that I could see. Um, it does have a nasal cannula if you wanted to breathe from this bottle. Don't know how that works. And just to sort of catch you up, the original bottle that we tested was the Echo Go Plus, which was their original bottle, which is the one that Joe Rogan and Gary Brecca and all these health celebrities are promoting this brand. So we decided to add them check them out and this bottle came back pretty interesting too let's look at their results okay so the echo go plus which is the original bottle 
one of the first bottles that we had tested, and it's also I'm putting it on this report. Too. The last of the bottles on this test is the Echo Go Plus. This is the one I actually I have been using, so I'm not surprised because we had already seen lab results, but we want to send it in to be, be tested directly. But it came back with a whopping 3.56 parts per million and a dosage of 0.71. That's quite a bit more than these other bottles. But this was after running it on two cycles. So I think actually it, it claims to have gotten 4.5 parts per million. So it's a little bit less than what they claim, but it's still the highest performing one. It's only 10 ounces. So some people complain, including me, that it's not a lot of water because it's basically two sips of water. So you have to run this often, especially if you're running it at two cycles. But for me, I think this is a great thing to bring on the go. And in fact, you can't even bring this on the go because they've already switched out this bottle for an upgraded bottle, which I reviewed already in a pri prior video, which I'll link here. But this is their Echo Flask, which is their newest bottle. And we have the test results from this bottle as well. It has a little LED screen here where you turn it on. You can run it for 10 or 20 minute cycles. It actually holds 14 ounces of water so it's a little bit more it has a pressurized bottle so you have to hit this button on the top to release the pressure after it's run for a couple of cycles in order to open it i made a mistake and thing exploded everywhere and it's all over here so it kind of taught me a lesson that you need to tighten the lid down when you run it and then you need to release the pressure after it's run for two cycles but let's look at the lab results for this one because it's actually quite shocking according to H2 Analytics and their tests that they did for this bottle. It tested at 10 minutes at six parts per million, 6.07 milligrams per liter of parts per million. And the dose was a whopping 2.17 milligrams. And if you run it for a 20 minute cycle, you're gonna get 8.25 parts per million and a dosage of 2.89. That's pretty impressive. I will say that's the highest performing bottle that we've tested so far. They are having trouble shipping these, I know, because a lot of people have been DMing me and asking me to sort of help them. If you are interested, I will give you a link to this bottle below because we do recommend this. This is our top choice on the Swell Score Echo Water and their Echo Flask. They make a machine that's similar to the Kangen machine that we recommend, but we're not paid for this post. We're not sponsored by them. We are like consumer reports. We try to find the best brands and the best categories that have no BS behind them that are being transparent about what they're doing. And then we recommend them to you at the best prices. I will say a couple of things about this bottle you should be aware of. One, you definitely have to run it through a cleaning cycle when you get it, which is what I was telling you about the half vinegar and half water, run it, and then you have to run it through a whole cleaning cycle. Two, the battery doesn't last that long, so you can probably run it for two cycles, maybe a 10 minutes, maybe three. And you're not supposed to run it when it's plugged in. You can do it one time. So the battery's a little, you know, not great, but it, for the amount of hydrogen it's producing and for me to take this on the go, I'll take it. It's a great choice. And so there you have it. All the bottles, we sent them to the labs. If you have any questions, you have other bottles you want us to test, let me know in the comments. I'm gonna give away most of the bottles. I'm gonna throw away this one. But if any of you want these other bottles, subscribe to the channel, comment below on why you want it. And I'm gonna pick a winner and I'm just gonna send these other bottles that we tested to you for free. You just have to pay for the shipping cost. And there you have it. Another episode on hydrogen water. Tell me what you think in the comments below.